on uh, MongoDB video series. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, most of the advantages provided by the MongoDB. So let's start. So first is advantage of MongoDB is that uh, that is a completely schema list. So as you know, MongoDB uh, store uh, data data. I mean data as a document or uh, right uh, as a JSON or uh, right and. Uh, one collection right in sql you have a table in uh, in mongodb you have a collection right and collection can hold multiple documents and here number of fields contained size of the document can differ from one document to another that's the beauty of uh, basically mongodb but in sql rdbms you have a table and within the table you have a defined uh, basically uh, like different columns and every column has a fixed size but in MongoDB, uh, even you are going to uh, basically store or different documents within the collection and every document can have a different size, number of attributes as well as basically a number of uh, basically fields also can differ. That's the beauty. Now, uh, a structure of a single object is clear. So in MongoDB, what happens, let's say you have a person and a person has a different addresses, right? So in SQL, what usually you do, you do the normalization and person related data you store in the person table and address related data you store in the address table and address table probably you have a person person id as a foreign key and whenever you require a person and related addresses then you need to perform a joining uh, in between a person and address table but uh, in mongodb we do not do like this right so whenever you have a person and person has a different addresses then you have a complete one json document which will contain person uh, details as well as his all addresses detail within the single document and that's that's how we can avoid joining in uh, basically mongodb right so that's why we call a structure of a single object is clear in mongodb now no complex joins uh, uh, i already told you right so so there is a person and related uh, addresses right we are not going to store in the six different documents in the mongodb those all information are going to store in the single document uh, probably as a embedded documents right so you have a person like person id then person name right person age and within that you have addresses right and addresses will contain the more than one addresses for that person and every will be composed inside the single uh, basically uh, json documents so there is no need for the complex joins in the mongodb now next advantage of deep query ability so mongodb supports like dynamic queries on documents uh, using a uh, document based, uh, based uh, query uh, language right so we have a aggregation kind of a basically api which will help you to perform some kind of aggregate operation and there are some query uh, api which will help you to basically fetch not from the single table uh, single uh, documents but most uh, if you want to query basically uh, data from the different documents that is also pos possible using the uh, query language api in mongodb now when we talk about the tuning right so of course in database or sql uh, you can create indexes and you can do the various uh, things to perform the improve uh, improvement of your application right so similarly in mongodb you can uh, basically easily tune right you can create indexes on the uh, one uh, field or many fields right and uh, let's say if you want to fetch you don't want to so in each documents if you want to fetch only certain attributes that is also possible and that's how you can perform the tuning and apart from that mongodb also provides a kind of kind of concept is called sharding sharding is nothing but the let's say if you have a let's say uh, uh, terabytes of data right so rather than storing all the data onto the single database server what you are what you are going to do you are going to use the concept uh, is called sharding sharding basically helps you to break your huge data into different chunks right and th that will be stored on the different database server right and uh, so basically you are going to reduce the data size uh, and by storing and uh, uh, and you mu must have a kind of clustered basically machines and they are your data is going to divide and put into the different servers and that's how basically it is going to improve the performance now e right ease of scale out right so uh, scaling out in mongodb is really easier uh, already i told you a concept is called sharding right so using sharding you can do kind of horizontal scaling easily 
you can have a basically clustered of machine and you can divide your huge data into different uh, chunks and every chunk you are going to store into the basically uh, different servers and uh, and based on the basically uh, basically uh, uh, based on the basically data required right uh, you need to basically query on different servers and that's how you are going to basically uh, uh, improve the performance or scale out uh, your uh, basically mongodb application now when we talk about the conversion or mapping of uh, application object uh, uh, to the database so uh, if you look into the basically uh, 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 language like orm to like hibernate right in hibernate when you define the java class and uh, corresponding database column you must have a mapping one to one mapping in each field right but here you don't need to really uh, map your java objects with the uh, basically uh, json object right so, so so that mapping is not required in the mongo dps right that is also basically good thing over here right so that's all these are the benefits uh, basically provided by the mongo db right i hope you understood i i make uh, i i, I I assume that this will add some value to your uh, basically knowledge. Uh, so uh, I hope you are now aware about the what all benefits or advantages are provided by the MongoDB. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.